I made a video titled, You're Not In Love. And in the video, I explained that you're not in love with the girl. You're in love with the idea of the girl, not who she actually is as a person. And in the comments, there's a bunch of people saying that my idea of love is what can a woman do for me and that me calling a, a woman with a lot of bodies a slag is incorrect and me having standards is bad. So I'm gonna be responding to the hate comments, but in order to do so, I need to tell you a story that I told in the last video. So I was on the phone with my friend and he had just gotten dumped, so he's shattered inside. And he's like, man, I love this girl so much. And I asked him why, but he couldn't give me a reason. And then I said, okay, list five things that you want in a relationship. And he said, I want her to love me. I want her to not go out and party. I don't want her texting and Snapchatting a whole bunch of guys. I want her to update me on where she's at. And I want her to show me lots of attention so I don't feel like I'm chasing her. I said, okay. Does she do the first one? Does she make you feel loved? No. Does she do the second one? Does she go out and party a whole bunch? Yeah. Okay, does she Snapchat and text a whole bunch of guys? Yeah. Does she update you on where she's at? Yeah. I want her, does she show you lots of attention so you don't feel like you're chasing her? He goes, no. Okay, I said, she does one of the five things that you want in a relationship. Why do you love her? And in that moment, he realized that he wasn't in love with the girl. He was in love with the idea of the girl. And the first comment reads, and why did she break up with him? Perhaps he's not a good partner if all he does is expect her to do things he wants. I know for a fact, it does not make you a bad partner if you expect your partner to do things you want. And I'll tell a story. For example, I had a girlfriend and she lived with me. And when I came home from work, she wouldn't greet me with a hug. She wouldn't ask about my day. She wouldn't greet me with a smile, none of that shit. So I asked her to do so, so I'd feel loved. And she didn't. And I didn't want a relationship like that. I wasn't happy. So she had to go. And I could give an example for women. Say you think your boyfriend's cheating on you and you ask him to share his location. And he says, no. Then you go to sleep wondering, what is he doing? Is he sleeping with Bethany? Where's he at right now? Oh my gosh. And it's eating you up inside. And then two weeks goes by, sleepless nights, can't sleep, can't eat. You're just wondering. And you ask him again, babe, could you please turn on your location? And he goes, no, don't worry about it. All of your girlfriends would say to leave him, but you shouldn't expect him to do things for you, right? Buy you flowers, take you on nice dates. You should love him as he is. So you would be wrong to leave him, right? No, you would not be wrong to leave him at all. You're not happy in that relationship. So you will find a guy who does turn his location on, that does buy you flowers, that does take you on nice dates. Also coming from a man's perspective, if I truly love a woman and someone says, I'm gonna go boom to her, or I'm gonna cut your arm open and pull all your fingernails and do that to you for two months straight. I would choose two months straight for me every day of the week. I work 12, 16 hours a day so I can provide a roof over her head, nice purses, love and affection, nice dates. You're damn right I expect her to do things for me. I work 14 hours a day. It takes her 15 minutes to do the dishes. But I don't see these things in a negative way at all. A woman has every single right in this world to say, I do the dishes, I cook, I clean, I do your laundry. You better go out and earn some money for this family. She would have every right in the world to do so. The next one is first quarter of the video was all about what a woman can do for you and not about loving a woman as a human being. To truly love someone is not to love what they can do for you, but to love them as a person, how they think, their actions, their beliefs, their hobbies. So I am 100% certain that every relationship in this world is transactional unless they're your kids. Now, you love that person because of her morals, her personality, her beliefs, her hobbies. Her personality makes it to where she runs up to you when you get home from work, she gives you hugs and kisses and asks you about your day. That is a transaction of energy. Her morals makes it to where she doesn't go out to the club and party a whole bunch and get drunk and shake ass on other guys. That gives you a sense of security and that feeling. That is a transaction. She trades going to the club to make you feel secure. Transaction. You love her because when you come home from work, all your laundry is done, you have a fresh plate of dinner, her morals told her to do that. Well, he's been at work all day. The least I could do from him is make him some dinner and do his laundry. And I'll say it point blank. She pleases you in the bedroom. That's another transaction. Now let's imagine she stopped doing all those transactions, even just the physical ones. She stopped making you dinner, she stopped doing your laundry, she stopped pleasing you in the bedroom, she stopped greeting you with hugs and kisses when you got home from work. Would you still love her? Or do you think you would fall out of love pretty quick with that woman? You would fall out of love with her pretty quick because she is not making her end of the deal, the transaction. You would feel as if you're giving so much energy to this woman, but you're not getting anything in return. The next one is how your ex cult eight bodies is a slag. 
Sure, she might be sexually active, but that doesn't make her less of a person. She could very much be so kind, or maybe she's going through something, not to mention respecting the time spent together. Let me ask you a question. I want you to be completely honest when I ask you this and drop any resentment you have towards me. If a man sits at home and he watches corn three times a day, jerks off all day, plays video games, doesn't do shit with his life, has double D tits because he's so out of shape, is he less of a person than LeBron James? The reality of the world says yes he is. Now, he might be a person, but if you look at every metric of success that you can measure, the love, the family, the money, the fame, the honor, the drive, the passion, doesn't matter. He would be nowhere near him. And I accept the reality that in the eyes of the world, I am less of a person than a lot of men. And men are judged by women on their success, their money, their status, their looks, all that stuff. So applying the same reality of the world to a promiscuous woman, from the eyes of a man, a promiscuous woman is not as valuable as a non-promiscuous woman. And I'm not gonna say she's less of a person because I'd be rude to say to a woman and any woman watching this. And I just say that to men because I'm a lot harder on men. But you have to understand that soul ties are real. Every time you have sex with a person, they take Take a piece of your soul and it damages you. And it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. I'm speaking from experience. Ever since I went through my player phase, I remember life before that. I felt fulfilled, I felt happy, all that stuff. But after going through a lot of women, I feel as if I drained myself and I never should have done it. Now the reality of the world, whether you want to admit this or not, and I'm not saying I agree with this at all, but me as a man going through a hoe phase doesn't make me any less valuable as a man because I'm not judged by that. I'm judged by my success, status, and looks. But men don't want to be the last in line to a woman with 14 bodies. Sitting there with flowers, is it my turn? Huh? And I don't, even ex I don't even see how women expect that from men. Yeah, I've gotten my back broken by 14 different guys and two of them took videos, but will you marry me? No, I won't marry you. That's why society is failing, but it's also men's fault for being the ones to break these women's backs. 